I'm Elvia Diaz. I'm here with U.S. Senator-elect Kirsten Sinema. Congratulations. Thank you, know, you so much. It's a pleasure to have you here. Thank you. It's such an honor. A few years ago, no one would have predicted that a Democrat a woman and so young could win in a red state, Arizona. At what point did you feel that it was going to happen? It was actually before I declared that I was going to run for Senate. You know, over the years, I've been so privileged and so honored to listen to Arizonans and to try to do my best to serve them. And I could feel and tell from everyday people across the state that they were hungry for someone who would serve their interests, not partisan interests, not do what party bosses told them to do, but just stand up for Arizona. You know, I, I really believed that our state deserved to have a senator who will continue to stand up and speak the truth. Like Senator McCain did for so many years, um, he didn't care what party you belong to, he just did what he thought was right for our state and for our country. And I really wanted to, to work hard to be a senator of that mold, of someone who will just do what's right for your community. Well, you're talking about Senator McCain, you know, and now his famous return to the Senate in the summer of 2017, if you remember, uh, he said, our deliberations today are more partisan, more tribal, more of the time than any other time I remember. Both sides have let this happen. Let's leave the history of who shot first to the historians. I suspect they'll find we all conspired in our decline. You know, this was, you, we right. know what, what, what Senator McCain was talking about. Right. Do you believe you can change the polarizing history or culture of today's United States Senate? And if so, how? Well, I think one of the reasons that people have um, supported me in the past and still today is because I'm not a partisan person. I've never cared about party labels. I've always just cared about getting good ideas and solving problems and just getting stuff done. And as Senator McCain said, politics has gotten incredibly partisan. But what we showed in this campaign over the last year and a half is that it doesn't have to be like that. As I was campaigning across the state and listening to voters and trying to answer their concerns, it was never about party. It was always about people. We saw in the results of the election, the voters chose the person that they thought would best represent their values. And I am so excited to go and share that spirit of being beyond partisan um, with the United States Senate. But obviously we still have political parties and you know the country is still divided. So what is your message to Republicans because they do want to hear from you, the Republicans here in Arizona? You know in the last two years under President Trump's administration I've passed over 30 pieces of legislation that he signed into law and that was as a member of the minority in the U.S. House. So I feel confident that as the United States Senator for Arizona, I'll continue to do that work of putting people first over party, and we will pass legislation, we will help people's lives, and we will solve some of these great challenges we face here in Arizona. What is your top priority for 2019? Well, there are a lot of issues that we've got to get done for our state, but I'm really looking to pick up uh, the mantle where Senator Kyle has led so much of the way, and that is to make sure that we've got a long-term water source for Arizona's future. I'm really lucky to be serving on the Veterans Committee and the Homeland Security Committee. So I'll be working hard to make sure that we're taking care of our men and women when they come home from service, and also working to make sure that we're taking action around border security that's reasonable, smart, and that's good for Arizona's interests. And obviously you have absolutely no say on who will be appointed to the U.S. Senate, but what, what characteristics are you looking for in your fellow senator from Arizona? I think Arizona deserves senators who are always willing to put our state and our country above partisan interests and frankly above our own interests as well. So when you're sworn in uh, next month, you'll be the senior senator. How does that feel? You know, I've just been laser focused on getting ready to do the work. Um, you know, finishing out my term as the congresswoman for Arizona's 9th district is an incredible honor. And I take very seriously the job of being the s senator for Arizona and I want to do my best job. I want to make sure that every voter thinks to him or herself, I can call Kirsten. She'll help me solve my problem. And that's what I've been focused on. And what do you think your election, your victory, uh, tells Arizonans, especially Democrats that may be looking at, you know, running in 2020? Elections certainly say something about the candidates themselves. And I think that's important. But I also think that elections say more about the voters and what they're looking for and what they want. And so 
I would say the lesson to take from our election is to listen to the people of the state of Arizona. Make sure that we're in tune with what everyday people care about and what they want. And then work every day to make sure that you're answering their concerns. Not your own interests, but the interests of the people you serve. What do you want to be known for? I think what I'd like to be known for is that I'm a hard worker who always puts Arizona first. I want to be an Arizona senator so that the people of our great state know that every day I'm going to work, I'm doing every single thing I can to make sure that our state is taken care of, that we have all the benefits and the rights that we deserve, and that every Arizona's life is a little bit better because of the work that we're doing. Anything else that you would like to tell Arizona's or the world? I think what I'd like to just say is how humbled I am. I am overcome with gratitude and have been, frankly, since the day I launched this campaign. The chance to represent my state, the state I was born in, the state I love so much, and to fight for the people of my community every day, it's a privilege and I'm so, so grateful. And my pledge to Arizonans is that I will take it this seriously every single day. Well, thank you so much. Thank you.